Today I want to talk to you about modding in Starfield and what mods I think you need to improve your experience as a casual gamer. I really like a lot of the choices they made in this game and I question a fair amount of the choices they made in this game. I want to talk about three mods that you need to make traversing the Starfield feel more intuitive. Then I have three mods that will speed up basic functionalities in the game. Then stick around because I will tell you the single most important mod that you need to make your gameplay feel 100% better. Go ahead and drop a comment if you've used any of these mods so that other viewers can read your testimonials. Don't wait for creation kits to drop. There are loads of great mods out there right now. Don't wait for creation kit to drop. It seems I've procrastinated until creation kit was out. Oops. Anyway, you can find tons of great mods on Nexus Mods. And while yes, you can manually download and install them, I recommend using the Vortex installer instead. Link in the description below, as well as some tutorial links on how to set up mods, because I don't need to reinvent that wheel. I want to give a massive shout out to Captain Panda, Troubleshoot, and Spartan Sam, for making those incredible tutorial videos. We're starting with three mods that bring some simple yet powerful changes to how you navigate the settled systems. Let's kick it off with probably my favorite, show star names. But we're gonna let past me tell you about that one. Yo, it's color coded. Green is low level and red and orange are high level, which this is why I think I had such a hard time like finding things. Like all the planets it was telling me to go to were like Cheyenne and Voli and uh, Porima and things like that. And so I was like, oh, well I need to move to the right. That's where I need to be going. But then I couldn't find anything that was like a low level, right? Cause even like Crix, which is where you go for pirate stuff, is level 20. And I'm like, boy, well, I just joined the pirates as a level eight. So I can't get to the pirate place without dying. So now I know. Here's where all the low level ones are. Go left. Go left, she says. Well, I know what's to the left, but if I go right. So that's another one of my favorite cool new things. Next up, we have increased star map zoom that lets you get up close and personal with those pesky planets to fine tune your landing points. So if you go to star map, so I've got zoom in maps on my location. But if you zoom all the way out to the planet side, you can zoom way in. So like this used to be, or I think this used to be the maximum zoom in. And now you can zoom way, way in, which helps you really kind of find the fine details on where you want to make your plot. So that's cool. And then once you're on the ground, slightly better map icons will bring a more colorful addition to those stylized icons to help you figure out what features you're looking at. I've got cool icons for things instead of just black and white that mean different things. Our next three mods have less to do with graphical interface and more to do with pacing. Ultra Anim, short for animations, speeds up how quickly your character moves through action animations like entering the pilot seat, sitting to wait, and engaging a workbench. Having these small but numerous cutscenes double timed for you stops the feeling of lag and delay. This is a small but mighty change that's less disruptive to immersion and flow than trying to remove them entirely. Nice. Oh, this, oh man, this mod has sped so much of this stuff up that was really annoying before. Undelayed menus is exactly what it sounds like. Menus open without delay and close just as quickly. The amount of time you have to press and hold buttons to engage has also seemingly been at least had. Fast menu exit or something was one of the ones. You're supposed to like hold tab to exit the menu, so you have to wait the two seconds for it to register that you're holding the tab. Then you have to wait the time for it to actually close. And now it's just like you can just have your way back out. You don't have to wait. Thank you. Our last speedy mod is called Fast Favorites. It lets you access and select an item from your favorites without any of those annoying transitional pause moments. Simple, yet elegant. But if you only get one mod, get this one. Star UI. So yeah, I I love, oh my gosh, Star UI is fantastic. I'm, I love it. It's amazing. It's actually a suite of mods that you can pick and choose from. And I'm sure we could spend an entire video on the amazing overhauls from this mod alone. 
I opted for basic Star UI inventory, Star UI HUD, and Star UI Workbench initially. There are also versions for shipbuilding and outpost building, but those systems are for later in the game and I have no desire to get deeply acquainted with them just yet. Star UI Inventory will offer you better menu options to help you see weapon DPS and value per weight, among many other things, and totally overhauls the icons to be visually informative in regards to item type, which allows for greater sortability and the ability to quick transfer only a subset of item type. Gosh, I love that this keeps all of my fancy stuff up top and my food at the bottom. God, this is amazing. And these tiny, tiny lines instead of an entire, like, big line for every single item. Oh my god, this makes the game so much better. Star UI HUD, or Heads Up Display, allows you to customize your display to your heart's content, as well as offering multiple view options for item information in the game. This also defaults to turning all stolen items into a bright red box. Oh, it turns red if you're stealing something. That's cool. But wait, there's more. Initially, I thought it was absolutely clutch that you couldn't steal anything without going into a sneak position, which means no accidental stealing and no accidental arresting. Then I started to realize when I want to steal something and I have to be quick about it, or it's something up high, that is going to make it very difficult. I don't like this having a crouch to steal stuff. Star UI Workbench provides a slimmer, cleaner view with the added ability to see how many items you already have in your overall inventory, whether it's your bags or your ship cargo. The colorized menus bring a brighter ambiance with gear upgrades showing an orange, medical, and a sterile white gray, and food utilizing a tasty green option. Component manufacturing and decor keep the blue, but it's more vibrant and it just feels nicer. I may be a little late to the party here, but if you're getting back into Starfield this summer, even with the excellent updates and quality of life changes from Bethesda, I highly recommend these mods. They're absolutely clutch if you want to streamline your menu and actions, make your maps more legible, and in general, spend more time playing and less time grumbling about minor inconveniences. Sorry if the frame just changed. My phone filled up and I had to pull everything off of it and I did my best to get things set back up the way they're supposed to be, but it might be slightly off. So if you love this game like I do and appreciate sincere information and legitimately tried and true tips and tricks from an enthusiastic casual player, or if you're just a Stargate nerd here for the RP, like me, boop the like button, smash subscribe, and I'll see you in the Starfield. dogs please don't whine at the door and appreciate sincere information and legitimate tried and true trips and appreciate sincere information and legitimate tried and true trip tried and true trips tried and true trips okay and legitimate tried and true Yeah, f I quit.